Damn it, Carter. I told you not to call me. You can text me, you can swing by, but do not call me. Trust me, Zeke. The CIA does not care about you or your pills. Shut up! Don't say that shit over the phone, dumbass! Is your mom listening on the other line? You know she's got a shift at Waffle House on Thursdays. Dickhead. Now what do you want? Just meet me at the lot. What the hell took you so long? Pass me one of those. No, it's my last one. I got this. What the hell is that? It's a car radio. Well, no shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do with it? I want you to buy it. I need buy some money. It. <laughs> it ain't even got a CD player, man. What the hell would I even do with that? I busted my ass to get this. I need something. Well, <laughs> you need money, is that it? Yeah, I need money. All right. Here's your address. You remember uh, Ricky Carlson? Squirrely little fucker, dealt a lot in high school? He's crashing with his uncle a few weeks back. Apparently his uncle's ex-Marine Corps or some shit and got himself fucked up working for Uncle Sam. Now the dude's loaded and he's got prescriptions for every pharmacy in town. Oxys, Hydros, Tabs, you name it, Pat Paul's got it. So I figured if I can get my hands on some of those, that's some money for me, some money for you. The only problem is, I sure as hell don't want to go busting up on some ex-Marine Corps. So you expect me to do it? Well, hell yeah. You said you wanted money. You don't strike me as a guy with many opportunities, so I'm trying to give you one. Roll up in there, get yourself a ski mask, some gloves, a crowbar, real gangster shit. Roll up, bust in, steal a stash, and get the fuck out. How much?
I'm going to ask you one time and one time only. Why were you in the Carrollton house? The door was open. The door was open. Really? You know I can't let you out of here alive, right? Tag him up. Yeah, he'll call the ball. Hold still. <laughs> So I suppose this is the part where you start asking questions and I start giving answers. Now you start losing fingers. Open it up. Fucking gross, isn't it? The fuck are those things? <sighs> Follow me. What was in those freezers? To be honest, I couldn't tell you. All I do is cut them out, package them, freeze them. And whenever I get a phone call, I go where I'm told. I can tell you they grow next to the liver and they don't fucking belong in the human body. Those men you killed, they were soldiers, right? Yep, every single one of them. Same unit. It's a little fucking bizarre, isn't it? All these people start growing brand new organs. So we got brought in to take care of the problem the old fashioned way, cut out what's not supposed to be there. Call him. Call who? Your employer. I'd like to talk to him. These aren't the people you can make a deal with. You can't run away from this. Damn it, fine. It's ringing. Hello? Yeah, I know. I'd say this qualifies as an emergency. Some fucking psychos here with an axe, and honestly, I feel compelled to let him talk to you. Who is this? Son, who do you think you're talking to? I got a freezer full of mutant guts. I think you want them. You don't play around, do you? I like that. Well, you have the upper hand here. Can't let you run around with my property now, can I? What's your price? A hundred thousand. hundred thousand. For hellfire. I'm in no position to negotiate, so I guess that'll have to do. Name me a time and a place. Six o'clock. 
Browse 52 in the back lot. See you there, son. Look forward to meeting you. This is not going to end well for you. I'm guessing you're the fella who called earlier. You're late. Well, hell, son, get over here and shake my hand. So I reckon, by the looks of you, that you kill my other boys. Is that so? It is. Well, son, I'm going to shoot straight because, frankly, I'm impressed with your handiwork. I can give you the money, and you can give me my organs, and we can just part ways. But I promise you, you will lose your life for this. The people who are in charge of me are in charge of you, too. They're in charge of everybody. The killing spree has left me severely understaffed, and this next job is a big one. How much? Pardon? No sex, no 